Hi, today's video is from Zarella Wool Company and we'll be focusing on how to make a pom-pom blanket. What we're aiming for is a blanket which looks like this one here, which has got pom-poms in nice neat rows and this is a square blanket made from one ball which gives you a blanket 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters. If you want to make a three ball blanket, you will need three balls and that will give you a blanket approximately 80 centimeters by 80 centimeters. So the yarn we'll be looking at today is a new pom-pom yarn from Zarella and it's called Zarella Baby Pom-Pom Yarn. It comes in a variety of different colors, uh, which are the main popular colors on the market at the moment. For this, you will need um, 35 centimeter knitting needles. You can either use straight knitting needles or some people prefer to use a circular needle such as this one here made by Addy. This one is an 80 centimeter knitting needle and can help hold the blanket more comfortably on your lap. First, when we take the ball of yarn, we need to find the end. Now with pom-pom yarn, it's, it's, uh, it can be a little bit tricky sometimes to find the end just because it's a, it looks like a little bit of a mess the way the, the balls all get rolled. So um, it's quite tricky. So what you need to do is find um, a thread which is wound from the outside of the ball. Can we just show one? Uh, this thread here, it's thre it comes from the outside of the ball here and then it's threaded into the top and the last bit of the yarn, they, they feed into the top of the ball. So you need to find a thread that comes from the outside of the yarn and then goes down to the top of the middle. Now with this, this ball, we've got maybe 50 centimeters, which is loose, but you can actually find that some of them have you know, a couple of meters, which uh, you need to pull out from the middle. Okay, so to cast on, you want to leave two, maybe three pom-poms. And the idea is, that you knit the strand between the pom-poms without actually pulling the pom-pom through. So we begin by making a slip knot. Pull it through. So your yarn is secure. Now there are several ways of casting on. The one I found to be the most successful so that you don't have your knitting to be too tight is to use a combination of both finger casting on and knitting casting on. So we start off by holding the pom-pom out of the way, wrapping the yarn around the needle, then sliding it off, turning it over. That's your first stitch. Then we insert the needle into the back of that stitch, knit and cast on in the usual knitting way. Hold the pom-pom out of the way, slip the yarn from back to front, take it off and turn over, insert the needle into the back of the stitch, knitting round, and casting on. Holding the pom pom out of the way, yarn from back to front, take off and turn over, knit into the back of the stitch, and casting on. You would continue in this way until you have the desired number of stitches cast on. And as you can see, the pom-poms all sit, they're not squashed and sit quite nicely. To make a one ball blanket, which is 40 centimeters in width across this way, you will need to do 36 stitches, which will give you 18 pom-poms. Um, and you keep knitting until you have 50 rows and that's, that'll give you a 50 centimeter by 40 centimeter blanket. If you want to knit a uh, 80 centimeter by 80 centimeter blanket, you'll need to um, knit 72 stitches. Okay, so we've casted on 16 stitches for the purposes of the demonstration. So we have eight pom-poms 
and I'm going to move them up a little bit to start knitting as it can get a bit stiff in the first row but once the first row is out of the way it is a nice yarn to knit with. We're going to be doing a straight garter stitch so your normal knitting stitch and the idea is you knit between the pom-poms so now we're going to hold the pom-pom out of the way knit the stitch and now we knit the yarn so that's an easy way to remember is hold the pom-pom and then knit the yarn. So we hold the pom-pom and then knit the yarn. So I'll just go to the end of the row, hold the pom-pom, and then knit the yarn hold the pom-pom knit the yarn last few hold the pom-pom to the back knit the yarn Hold the pom pom at the back, knit the yarn. Hold the pom pom at the back so that when I start my next row, I will be knitting the yarn. So, as you can see, after two rows, the pom poms are sitting neatly on top of each other and are starting to form rows. As you continue to knit down, they will be very straight, neat rows. There are a couple of pitfalls to be aware of. If you do only do one stitch between each pom-pom or maybe even three, then your work will start to go out of line, which obviously doesn't look as neat as how you want your finished product to be. Okay, so I've done a few more rows just to show you how the pom-poms form these nice rows. But now we're going to look at casting off. Now you have to be careful when you're casting off because if you stick to two stitches between each pom-pom, it actually bunches all the work up and it doesn't sit well. So what we do when we're casting off is we work just one stitch between each pom-pom. So that's my first stitch. Hold the pom-pom out of the way. Pass the first stitch over. We've cast off our first stitch. Now we hold the pom-pom out of the way. and pass the first stitch over. So again, hold the pom-pom out of the way. So just one stitch between each pom-pom. Pass the first stitch over. Hold the pom-pom out of the way. Pass the first stitch over. You can see it gives more of a looser edge, keeping the shape of the work. Hold the pom pom out of the way. Pass the first stitch over. So we are going down from doing two stitches 
between each pom-pom to just one. And this is purely for casting off. So I'll go to the end of the row. So we can see how it looks once finished. Holding the pom pom out of the way, passing the first stitch over to cast off. Holding the pom pom out of the way, a little bit fiddly. Okay, so my last one, pass over and then you would pull a little bit of yarn through. You'd cut your yarn maybe two or three pom-poms long, thread through your left hole and pull it tight and then just weave in the ends of your work and that's how you cast off.